Okay, class, this is unit 7. It is about soil. And uh, under this lesson 1, we are going to define soil and explain the components of mature soil. So, what is soil? Soil refers to a thin layer of weathered materials of weathered materials on the earth's surface. It is a thin layer of weathered materials covering the surface of the earth. Another student may say that soil refers to the topmost layer of the earth's surface which supports plants to grow. Then soil is made up of different components, in fact five major components. The components may also be called elements or constituents. Number one, mature soil contains water and moisture. And what is the importance of water in soil? Water helps plants to absorb minerals from soil. For example, minerals like sodium, calcium, potassium can be easily absorbed by plant roots under the influence of water. Then again, water helps in leaching. Leaching is a process by which soluble minerals move from the upper layers to the lower layers. And therefore, this transportation or movement of the minerals downwards is facilitated by water. Then we have next, water helps in capillary action. This involves the movement of soluble minerals from the bottom layers to the upper layers is the opposite, I think, of reaching. The minerals this time move from the lower layers to the upper layers. Then we have next, water provides a medium within which most of the chemical processes of the soil formation takes place. It helps some chemical processes of soil formation to occur because we all know that chemical weathering is commonly influenced by water. Next, water in soil helps in the composition of organic materials into humus. It helps living organisms in the soil like bacteria when they are converting organic materials into organic matter called humus. Mature soil contains air. This is component number two. Mature soil contains air and this air occupies space or the power spaces between soil particles which is not filled with water. That space which is not filled with water between soil particles is occupied by air. What is the importance of air in soil? Air facilitates plants to grow by supplying oxygen to the root hairs. Then also air supports microorganisms which are found in the soil. Air helps in the process of weathering. For example, a process like oxidation needs oxygen. Carbonation needs carbon dioxide. Soil or mature soil contains living organisms, especially bacteria, which helps in the composition of organic materials into humus. Again, uh, some bacteria help to fix nitrogen in soil, the nitrogen fixing bacteria. Then, mature soil 
is made up of organic matter which is humus. This is the decayed matter from plants and animals after they have decayed. It is the decayed matter from plant and animal wastes. When animals die and plants or vegetation is cut, after decomposition, under the influence of bacteria, they form organic matter called humus. What is the importance of this organic matter or humus in soil? It enhances soil's ability to hold and store water. It improves on soil structure. It reduces alleviation of soluble minerals from the top layers. It helps in soil aeration. Mature soil contains organic mater inorganic materials, this time inorganic, not organic. Organic is humus, then what are inorganic materials? These are mineral particles derived from varying degrees of broken particles from, rock, from the parent rock. Hmm? They are mineral particles derived from varying degrees of broken materials from parent rocks through the process of weathering. And examples may include silic, silicate, and oxides. These are the minerals. What is the importance of inorganic materials in soil? Inorganic matter provides important plant nutrients. It determines soil aeration. It determines soil texture. It also gives support to the plants and it determines the drainage of the soil. Uh, this diagram is a summary of the percentage covered by some of the components. We have air covers 25% in soil. Minerals cover 45%. Organic matter cover 5%. Water covers 25%.